Tyler Johnson. I'm a GRE instructor, and I started working for Manhattan Prep in the fall of 2019, and I'm based in New York City. So I would say I'm a teacher because fundamentally I like to help people. So it's nice to have a job where I feel like I'm giving back and I'm able to help people achieve their goals. It's just like a rewarding feeling, you know, taking something that can be complex and finding a way to like break it down into simpler terms and sharing that. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like a hippie and I'm into sharing and I'm into like feel good vibes. So <laughs> teaching is a good fit. <laughs> I am a musician, so for a while I was a touring drummer, so got to play music, you know, semi-professionally. Didn't make a whole lot of money, but I had a lot of fun doing it and got to travel the country and see a lot of cool places, meet a lot of interesting people. Um, I still play music, but not, you know, not trying to make it anymore, just for fun, which is still great and I still love. I like bikes. I'm really into cycling. I once road from Seattle down to San Francisco. Biking is very like meditative to me, so it's nice to kind of like disconnect and it's just kind of like you and the road. And when you're on those long trips, you get to eat like a jar of peanut butter every day, which I'm definitely into. I think my classroom vibe is that I'm often described as a quote, chill dude. So I like to maintain a very chill, warm, welcoming ambience. And I like to welcome being wrong. I think being wrong is one of the most powerful, powerful things you can do because it's kind of like admitting, like this is something I need to work on, but that's okay. Like I know what it is now and I can get better at it and improve. And that's kind of key to becoming like not only a better test taker, but just kind of like a better person in life in general. The most helpful thing that I definitely wasn't aware of when I first started out is the importance of keeping a review log and some sort of index of the problems that are giving you trouble because you want to return to that stuff and keep challenging yourself and make sure like something has now clicked. On the classroom front, it's kind of like having a community. So kind of knowing you've got this other cohort of people in the trenches with you working towards the same goal. Um, so yeah, I try and like foster a kind of community in my classroom where it's not just me lecturing down at everyone, but also there's ample opportunity for the students to speak amongst themselves and share ideas. And on the flip side, I think one of the powers of tutoring is less so community, but more just like the one-on-one -on -one interaction where, you know, I as your tutor will try and create a bespoke lesson to really connect with you on what I might perceive as some of your weak points and really just focus in on those things and chip away at them until we create a potential strength out of them.